CPHI Miss Exam Preparation Question and Answer Question number 351 Which of the following is not a critical element needed in integrated billing, financial and clinical systems? A. Information is available when and where it is needed. B. Users must have separate views. C. Data must have consistent interpretation. D. Adequate security must be in place. Answer B. Critical elements needed in integrated billing, financial and clinical system include that the information is available when and where it is needed, the data must have consistent interpretation and adequate security must be in place. Question number 352. Which, which is a strategy used by healthcare organization to ensure integration of functions? A data preservation b data destruction c data scrutiny and d data testing answer a data preservation question number 353 a physician is reviewing digital images from a patient's CT scan at her home office. What system need to be integrated for his for this to occur? A. Information technology system and picture archiving and communication system. B. Radiology information system and electronic documentation system. C. Picture archiving communication system and radiology information system. D. Electronic documentation system and picture archiving and communication system. Answer C. PACs deal with the storage and communication of medical images. Integration is necessary between PACs and RIS. PACs stand for Picture Archiving and Communication System and RIS stand for Radiology Information System. Okay. In order for the physicians to review the digital images. Question number 354. Image modalities differ in their storage requirements depending on a contrast and spatial resolution needed, b the number of integration with other systems, c whether data expansion techniques are used, d both a and b. Answer A. The contrast and spatial resolution needed. According to Greenis and Brinkley, 2016, storage requirement differ depending on the contrast and spatial resolution needed. Question number 355. CPOE implemented independent of other technologies likely to have limited benefits. A true B false. Answer A true. Use of CPOE should not be executed by itself as a limited benefit may result. For example, CPOE needed needs to include clinical decision support to reach its full value. Question number three hundred fifty six. A major barrier to CPOE adoption is its cost. A. True. B. False. Answer A. True. While cost may differ depending on hospital size and level of existing IT infrastructure, CPOE is costly to implement and maintain. For example, organizational staff is needed to provide testing for upgrades and enhancement. Question number 357. Which of the following is not a value of CPOE? A. Reduce variation in healthcare. B. Reduce variation in provider workflow. C. Improve patient safety. 
D. Improve efficiency of healthcare delivery. Answer B. Reduce variation in provided workflow. CPOE impacts workflow and process of all caregivers and ancillary personnel. It changes the ordering process but may not reduce variation in provider workflow. Question number 358. Which CPOE function is considered advanced functionality? A. Drug-drug interaction checks. B. Transmit the order to appropriate location. C. Return status of order. D. Return result of order execution. Answer A. Drug-drug interaction checks. More advanced CPOE applications have some form of clinical decision support. An example of simple clinical decision support is the capability to perform drug-drug interaction checks. Question number 359. The clinical decision support system gen generates an alert for needed therapeutic intervention based on clinical practice guideline and patient-specific factors. The benefit this alert would have is in helping to enforce a standard of care. A. True. B. False. Answer A. True. The benefits to alert and reminder include provide immediate notification of errors and hazards related to new data or order entered by clinical information system, CIS, user or the CIS itself, such as when abnormal lab result is posted or Passage of a time interval during which a critical event should occur help enforce standards of care. Question number 360. Which of the following is not fundamental requirement of a clinical decision support system? A. Inference engine. B. Clinical workflow tools. C. Knowledge base. D. Communication mechanism. Answer B. Clinical workflow tools. The components are knowledge base, inference engine, and communication mechanism. Each component provides a piece that is important for clinical decision support intervention to occur. For example, clinical decision support could provide suggestion for possible diagnosis knowledge base that match a patient's sign and symptoms inference engine and communicate this to the providers through a ranked list of diagnoses that might explain the patient's sign and symptoms communication mechanism. Question number 